This episode brought to you by Westeros Universal Healthcare. Cross that black salt water and get fixed up. Hey everybody, we're watching Game of Thrones Season 1 Episode 9 and you're watching the Binge Watchers on the Wall. This is the journey of one man who knows way too much about Game of Thrones and one man who has never seen it. This cast commentary presents Binge Watchers on the Wall, a Game of Thrones podcast. Now here are your hosts, Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Hey everybody, welcome to the Binge Watchers on the Wall. I'm Joe Finley. I'm Todd Tebow, the Sailor Murray. And we are back with you another episode of Game of Thrones. Moving around, look at the video because motion is power? Damn right. Cool. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys. We are into the, we are in the thicket we are. of season one. Second last episode. A Ooh. shit ton has happened over the Fuck last couple. Uh, so no expectation of anything happening in this one. This is the denouement. It's <laughs> yeah, just going to be everything's one. fine now. Yeah. Uh, so let's find out what happens and what doesn't happen Ooh. as we press play. Now. Ooh, it worked. We did it, guys. We did it. With that white noise again. That's so good every single time. It's HBO reminding you, reminding you they're badass. You're fucking right, they're We had G string divas. What did you have? <laughs> so, this episode is directed by Alan Taylor, who is a big HBO director. He did episodes of Oz. He did episodes of Sex in the City, Sopranos. Uh, he did episodes of Homicide, not HBO, but still a big deal. Uh, he directed Thor to the Dark World and Terminator Genesis. Oh. So we got like a film director going on oh, right now. Oh, cool. So, uh, HBO seems to have a group of dudes that they lean on to just direct yeah. whatever. Well, you got it. Like this guy directed seven, I think, episodes of this show. And that's a lot for shows like this. Like usually when you see, oh, this guy directed episodes of like The Wire. He did like two episodes. And then, oh, he did episodes of this. Oh, he did three episodes of Sex and the City. Oh, he did one episode of The Sopranos. Like when I find it crazy that a director can just step into one episode. Yeah. And pull it off. Yeah. Like, you must be good to know the tone. Like, I wonder if they showed you the other episodes, even though oh, yeah. they weren't out, like, this is what's happening. Like, well, this is why this you is have the tone. This is the. Yeah. And this is also why you have showrunners, right? Like, the showrunner is the director of the season. They're just not physically directing episodes. Right. They're telling directors how to direct. It is, like, a, probably the most simplified way I could put it. Obviously, there's a lot more to it. Right. The producers, they're doing all that. But that's thing, essentially but, it, right? Yeah. They're, they're kind of filling everybody up to speed. They're, they're the big picture. Connecting everything. Exactly. Yeah. Game they're of the, Thrones. They're Kevin feige all over. Just feige in the place up. Fi yes. Dirty Feige's. Yeah. It's Rich Valentine. It's Feige in here. <laughs> Instead of Feige. It's always. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Anybody? Oh, nope, we're still on. Bueller. It's dark. There's somebody there. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh, God. That must be awful. Imagine just pure darkness because you're in like a super dungeon and stuff like that. Who could that, right? Yeah. And every time the flame comes in, you're like, who's coming to kill me now? And he's legit. Like, oh, now yeah. you can see he's scared. Ooh. Oh, yeah. He's getting the bags under his eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's He sounds like a, a Russell Crowe now. I think once, once you've suffered long enough, you sound like Russell Crowe. <laughs> just like Russell Crowe. Mm -hmm. uh. Yeah, you do. It's truly. Come on. He's the only guy here helping me out. Yeah. When they find out that he's not like bones, they're going to be like, who's been feeding and drinking him? <laughs> Which means, ah, exactly. Yep. There, there he is. <laughs> I got to it before me. With a hot knife. Ouch. I think his gear he's got it, right? It's, mm -hmm. it's almost like the executioner. A little bit, yeah. And it's got that kind of like it's almost like the like sheets that people put down to like soundproof their rooms and stuff like that too. I feel like that's what it's made out of. Ooh, obsequious. Yeah. Oh yeah, he uses the good words. <laughs> <laughs> what else was this guy in? Uh, he's not in a ton. Well, we'll get to him. 
Right. Yeah, yeah, we're day, not there like, yet. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like, he's not somebody I know from a million things. And when you see him without like, when his head's not shaved and all that too, he looks like a completely different person. He's got like this weird, like kind of a, I, I want to say salt and pepper, but it's more gray than anything else. So it's like kind of like gray with pepper. Right. Right. And it's, uh, and it's got like this sweeping kind of, it looks like a wig just cause you know him for being bald. That's weird. Yeah. Whenever yeah. you see him with hair. Yeah. I picture that he shaves like everything on his body. Like he's gone super method. Like his knuckles are nice and like smooth and <laughs> just like the, way I like the underside hands. of his ball sack you could eat off of. Ooh, yeah. Tisk, tisk. So he's just come and give him the, uh, he said that his son's coming to. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, he's, I, I like this too. He's basically just, he's, he's trying to save him in the only possible way. See? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, dude. Don't die because of your honor. Yeah. Help the fucking place. Yeah. Do all of this That's because like uh, you know, yeah. Peter Dinklage was saying, like, he doesn't what is honor? You're dead. Yeah. But here's the what here's the why. See. It's that's it. She be, she believes that you will. It's a pretty <laughs> good all in all, that's a yeah. pretty good deal for him. It's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> you are frustrating. So that's what that should be versus next line. You are <sighs> frustrating me. <laughs> Fuckers. Yeah, he sure yeah. did. The Ooh. fucking thing out of my face. Yeah. Yeah, that fire is like burning the hair off me. Yeah. Well, but you can see the like the uh, he can see his breath, so he's probably happy for the warmth. Right Whoever now. I don't know were these the same lines they said to each other in this in the book? It, it's all very close, believe it or not. Everything that comes out of some of these guys' mouths, I'm just like, damn, that was good. Yeah. Sometimes, like sometimes they clean it up a little, or they tighten it a bit, or they take some things out. Right. And, like it's like a lot of the things, like that whole uh, conversation between him and Cersei, where it's like when you play the Game of Thrones, you wonder, like that's almost word for word. Right. Like it's some some of the bits are just nobody's right noticed there. him coming in and out of there, huh? They got spies everywhere. Well, no, he's probably. Oh you, my god, you, you pay off the right people. It's like how shit happens in Oz. Like how does everybody get raped and murdered? Oh, right. People, people pay people oh, to look the other shit. way. Bam. Crow killer. They're hunting down. No, uh, no, no messages. Yeah. No yep. messages are getting, we're hunting down and taking all the messages. So this is that bridge they need to cross, uh, that we talked about last week where he's it got the choice cool. about crossing the bridge, but. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So they see. Yeah, like if he wants to turn his back on these guys, uh, the guy who's in charge of the bridge there, like he could easily do it because he sees they've got an army there right now and he could just like send it off to the Lannisters and go, help. Mm. Only buddy's just uh, so stoic with his, none of his fingers gone. Yeah. Wait, okay, what did you talk about the last episode? What do you mean? When... They were raping and pillaging the village. Oh, they are. Uh, and Drago, buddy, there's like, these were the good women I was going to rape. And it's like, you were you? Because like they were like all the old ladies of the village. That's just what he's into. And that's what I was thinking. So then he must have said to this guys, listen, listen, listen. He's like, I'll take the old women. And they're like, oh, thank God. Like, yeah, you yeah. take him, bro. Take him. Yeah. He's, he, he's like, I'll take this bullet for you. He's like, it seems like every time we do <laughs> yeah. this, he always takes that <laughs> yeah, bullet exactly. for us. He, why, why can't he just admit that he's totally into banging old dry <laughs> broads? What the fuck? Okay. I only oh like shit! <clears throat> yes, Lord Walder is somebody who you will recognize when we get there too. And this is the people that run the, the this little wall, gate here, right? Yes. So you got to talk to them. This is their land, and yeah, it's like the only way across. Oh the my god! Yeah, baby, there he is, the old bugger. <laughs> the Hogwarts, this guy. Yeah. yeah, we know him as the squib, who is the uh, uh, janitor in Hogwarts. This is a yeah. He's so he is, is he the grabbing good, his daughter's ass right now. That's his wife. Oh, that's his very <laughs> young wife. It's both the same. It might also be his yeah, daughter. Yeah, exactly. Though, but, um, yeah. No, he married. He, like he is a polygamist, and he marries like friggin' children. Really so, nice thing to say to your son, eh? Yeah. Hey, this is serious. He, I, 
he's like this old curmudgeon in this who all his kids still live with him because none of them are good enough to be like married off to other families and stuff. <laughs> so he hates all of his family. <laughs> he's like tongue kissing between. <laughs> She's like, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> I like this dude. Yeah. He looks way younger here than he did in Harry Potter. Well, because his hair was longer and he is more of a scraggly, but. <laughs> Chase. <laughs> All right, fuck. Like, but literally everybody there is probably one of his kids yeah. or wives. Everyone. Like, that's how, like. But like that one's definitely his wife. That that six year old there. <laughs> That's a weird thing. Now I assume that that girl's probably of age, but that would be a very weird thing for like get your daughter cast in. So this old man's gonna like fondle her ass and like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> so and her honey's all mine. So... Lecherous chuckle. Yeah. Uh, She's like, I don't give a fuck. I've been banging dudes since 12. You just trying to shock me? I want daughters. (laughs) I'll I'll explain it to you later. (laughs) So he feels very slighted by, like, he's supposed to be one of her father's bannermen, but he he feels pretty slighted by them and stuff like that. He's, like, got that, like, inferiority kind of complex. Oh, he's just said right there, would never marry any of my children. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> that would be actually kind of frustrating yeah. if you're having that many kids and it's like like seriously none of you can find Just a fucking get the fuck out of here yeah yeah we just have to cross the trident i assume like i wonder what that like uh it says the trident they say the trident and i'm like it just looks like a bridge but i'm like is it like some kind of three-pronged bridge or like i don't know i don't know Ooh, yeah. He knows everything. You know what this reminds me of? (laughs) (laughs) It, uh, he doesn't give a shit about nothing. Um, (laughs) nice. Uh, Yeah, he knows his shit. But they all remind me, they feel like they have the Palantirs from Lord of the Rings. Say again. Where they've, I, like, they feel like they have the palantirs from Lord of the Rings, like they're all communicating through the orbs. Right. It's like because, like, I know ravens are getting out and the words getting out and stuff like that, but it's like it feels like only certain people have all the information all the time. Right. And like she was kind of talking to him in a way that it's like, oh, you don't know everything. It was, of course, I know everything, asshole. He was totally. T- yeah, he's right. He's like, you guys have forgotten about me forever. Why the fuck am I supposed to yeah. give a shit about any of you? And yeah. why he knows is because if he allows people to go through, he could probably get information from yeah. them. This is why he knows everything, For right? Sure. Is, are they, like, right in the middle of everything? Yeah, they're, like, they're at a, like, strategic kind of crossing because there's a big river there. Right. right? So it's, like, they're they're the only way across. He reminds me of the 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 guy that uh, guards the uh, bridge on the uh, Bog of Eternal Stench. Yes. Uh, same same concept. Yeah. He is, Ambrosia? Uh, he is, in a lot of ways, just a Muppet. Uh, aren't we all yeah for sure we've all got somebody's hand up our ass so this is like the the uh oh wow yeah that's the first time you they flat out say that his son is jorah marmont the guy who's with daenerys yeah um but yeah that is the the sword that was in their families he changed the bear on the end to be a wolf for him but that's the gift that he gave to him for uh he said that was his son's sword well it was supposed to be his son's but his son became a traitor and is gone now so he's like, I, no, I just, I just like the yeah. the sentiment behind yeah. it. And I'm like, oh, wow, absolutely, it's a huge deal, and it's Valerian steel, which you you hear that, and it's like, well, what the hell does that mean? It's a huge deal because like old Valeria was like the rich place that the kingdom was once upon a time, like like you know millennia ago type thing. Right. So it, like it's kind of magic. Like if you get into the books, it's actually magical. It's got like magical properties and stuff like that. It's like a plus two flame sword in like fucking uh, Dungeons and Dragons or some shit. The boy king. Oh, they're going to lay that fucking hand there. I worry about the dog biting that hand. The dog is going to turn into like a fucking White Walker devil dog. He'll be fine. Maybe it doesn't work for animals. Yeah, like how they can't. Apparently, if you touch them. Yeah, how they can't get AIDS no matter how many times I fuck up. <laughs> what? <laughs> they say what out loud? <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, but that here, guy. I hope he never dies because he's perfect in this kind he's of great, role. Eh? I'm old and wise and Did you check out the sword. I'm his son now, bruh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, everybody likes oh, him. Now. He's the talk Except, of the town now. I just picture the one guy though. You think you you have a sword? That you're some kind of hot shit. <laughs> yeah, watch here he goes. Old snow. I like that they all knew ahead of time that he was getting the sword. Like that seems like a bit much. They're like, let's see it, mother mother. She. Woo. Like that sword seems a bit much for me. What are they all so impressed about again? Well, because they know that that's a, that sword's a pretty big deal. No, but what uh, had happened again before? He saved the Lord Commander's life from the Zimbies. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I don't know why Zimbies. I say Zimbies. Zimby! I just like to say it. What's it's Zimby. So let's look. I've, I picture in the background one of them, like, cutting their hand on or something. Like, <laughs> laughing. <laughs> you just have this giant thing going on in the background. Like that one episode of Community where dude... Uh, literally, he's not in the entire episode, but almost every scene he's in the background and he's right. help, he's helping like some random people give birth. <laughs> and then uh, at the very end of the episode, he shows oh. up. He's like, "Where you go? Where you been?" He's like, "Oh, I've been around." <laughs> <laughs> Always giving birth. Yeah, yeah. It was well. It was the whole episode took place over like the course of like a couple hours. Right. So. Uh oh. Uh -oh. See everybody. Whoa. Everybody's like got this information. That's a uh, lot. Oh, Jon Snow is not feeling it anymore here. Well, that's the worst thing. Eh? He knows his father's in danger. He knows his sisters are in danger. He knows his brother's going off to war, and he wants to be there with him. It's oh, they don't like... even care about him, for fuck's sake. Just yeah. stay at the wall. Yeah. Just go save your dad and fuck off. The rest of them don't give a shit about you. Yeah. No, his brother likes him. Oh, that's not true. You're and, right. And yes, Aria, his brother really does like him, And actually. Arya likes him, too. Sansa didn't really care. That area is all right. Nah, well, yeah, Sansa didn't give a fuck about it. At least let on that she didn't care. Right. <sighs> I like that area. Yeah. Oh, he granted the crossing. But. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, these are one of those places, too, that's like this killer stronghold, like an army of 10,000 just splash against their walls and be like, I'm sorry. Sorry for your luck. <laughs> Oh, it's because he said that they have to leave 400 people behind just in case somebody comes after them so they can defend, so they don't come yeah. and wreck the bridge or anything, right? Yeah. Uh. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> now they're starting. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. she won't. Arranged marriages, man. Uh. But it takes the, I, I'll tell you, though, it takes the pressure off. Yeah, I know, but I love this one, too. It's not even about nobility. It's like we, we used you as a bartering chip to get across the bridge. Yeah. Yeah, but they could, these people die young, right? Oh, fuck. Whoa. That's at least nice. You get to pick. He <laughs> means pretty enough. Yeah. He's like, fuck. <laughs> He's like, no, I don't like it. Yeah. Do you know, I, I, that's you a fair question. I did. I thought. <laughs> Passable. Pretty much. One had a vagina where it should be. Yeah, exactly. What? What? <laughs> huh? But it only has one lip, so <laughs> yeah. it looks fucking terrifying. You have to kind of come in from the left and hope that it catches. It looks like, yeah, it looks like if, like, yeah. one eye, la like, your top eye, like, la not lash, your eyebrow, mm. whatever, yeah. lid. Lid like, Your top lid is half down, and the bottom one's been ripped off completely. That's what it looks like. Like Deadpool. Yeah. In, like, the, oh, in the Wolverine. God. <clears throat> I actually rewatched I rewatched Deadpool two the other day. Held up better than like, than the first time. I liked it better than the first time. I, I still saw have it. to see it because the the theater got all fucked up. Yeah. Okay. Who's this coming? This is uh this is them. This is their army now starting to cross the bridge because oh, he's fuck. consented to the uh, conditions. They only actually have fifteen thousand, don't they? They just keep saying twenty. He said eighteen thousand. Eighteen thousand, right? Yeah, you but they're down. feeding all right kinds the of numbers. shitty numbers. Three got some rope. No, that one's, there's a raven. He's running so. out of here soon. Yeah. You wanted to see me. Do you really say that to the blind guy? Uh, he's he's heard them all. He's He's been the blind guy here for probably and 100 he's years. Like, he's like the cook. Well, he's the, he's like the head steward or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I was also yeah. wondering that, yes. yes. So you'll never leave your post because of your family. Yep. There it is. Yeah. Love is the That's death. That's right. It's a good one, too. So he's not the cook. He's just feeding the birds. He throw, he's very aggressive. Just fucking throw a little, like gently toss a little meat in. He's <laughs> essentially talking him into going. No. He's actually talking him out of going. 
Oh, I thought he was kind of being like, you should go. Like, yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, yeah, he's having, he's like saying that thing of he's like, the reason that we are what we are is because we can't worry about what's going on out there. We are worrying about the much bigger picture of keeping the world safe. See, every time somebody, like, mm-hmm. there's so many lines, like, right there. Mm-hmm. Like, what is honor when you have a baby and you know what I mean? Yeah. Or the love of a woman. Yeah. That's is what Ned Stark is going to yeah. have to get over real quick. What Varys was talking to him there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got, yeah. You should see what your father's going through. He's making yeah. choice after choice after choice. This is your first time ever making a choice. Okay, well, if he thinks he's trying to talk him out of it, he's doing the wrong job, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. I think he's just laying it all out for him. Right. He's like, this is, this is what you're thinking about. Now think about it like a man. Nobody knows the, the trouble, trouble I've seen. seen. Oh, yeah, you're a dirty, dirty bastard. Oh, you're going to be more than that when you come back and save him. Look at him giggling. <laughs> no giggler. Just laughing at him like a prick. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> oh yeah this is actually you're gonna learn a lot about him in the next moment well <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh he's an old blind man who is here but his whole family gets fucking axed <laughs> so many Woo. yeah they gutted my family, but I stayed here. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Uh, now here's the, the our name is coming up, and you're going to put oh, it on this. Oh, shit. Ooh, say it. Aegon. Who is Aegon? He is a Targaryen. Ah. This guy's some yes. high ranker. Yeah. He was oh, little. Oh, fuck. Yeah, he's like the great uncle of the last king or the last Targaryen. The master king. of the citadel. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. So he was he could have been in line for the throne at one point. And that's what I was talking about. Like you give you give up everything when you come here. Look at me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the best if you find out he's not blind, he's just yeah, exactly. disinterested. Yeah. He's always just like looking. There's like a poster of like a titty girl up behind him. I get in trouble for that all the time. <laughs> what? Why, why do you have titty posters? Everywhere? I know it's not my fault. Don't do that. Why? Do, see, this always bothers me. You see these. Is he like, like we're asleep on his horse. Well, he's sick because oh, he's, he's all fucked up because yeah. the blade wound has yeah. got him all mucked up. Yeah. Oh, it's because like the road. I was like, they're always riding so close to like the thing. Why couldn't they have made the roads a little deeper in so they're not so bloody close to the edge of the cliff? Oh, shit. Oh, Ooh, he's going over. <clears throat> and this is a big deal, too, because the second that you're seen as... You're weak, like you're can't, pretty much done. Well, yeah. and literally, you can't ride a horse, and that's literally the only thing that makes you a man in this culture, right? He's like, oh. Oh, shit. The next guy's coming in. Well, if he's going to... even If he coughs twice, I murder him. Let's all fuck oh, here him. you go, look. See? And that's literally how fast it goes. They'll just all turn their backs on him. Now, they've got an interesting thing. In the books, they talk a little bit more about them. Uh, Every call has four blood riders who, like, they're basically, like, linked to him like family. And when they die or when when that call dies, they all they all kill themselves. Whoa. Like, it's like that kind of thing. Heaven's Gate. Yeah. They're in it to win it. Yeah. But it's like those it's those guys. It's like we don't ride with anybody else or this is. It's literally ride or die. Ride or Unlike, die time, motherfucker. Mixed all Fast and Furious bullshit puts that into That's miscast commentary style. Ride or die for life, mm-hmm. motherfuckers. Which, by the way, we talked about, um, you were you were talking about a while ago how you didn't think The Rock and uh, Statham were going to come back for Fast and Furious. They confirmed that Helen Mirren is back for the next one, and she plays Statham's mom, so I'm guessing mm. that they're still around. Statham will be in it, Rock won't. The, Rock, the Rock's a bigger character than most of them now in it, so I think he'll still be in it. Nope. Yeah, they they don't give a shit. Like if they gave a shit at all about those two not getting along, then they would have done something about it like four movies ago. Probably, yeah. No, yeah. but it was the la- the latest one that it really like hit the <laughs> hit a head there. Yeah. So these guys were getting ready to go pick him up. 
Uh, yes. And then he showed up. Yes. Yeah. But there's still other things to me. Imagine, uh, imagine the idea here. Like, so, like, look at all the stuff they have, like all the chairs and all that stuff. It would all have to be like, like, carted up and carried to the next place, and then they have to like rebuild a living room for them. It must have been sucked so bad. Yeah. To be anybody else but them. Yeah. So they just said. So orig- in the last episode, we kind of like glossed over uh, the uh, those tribes uh, that came and they uh, arranged to get them for like get them all the weapons they said well you're gonna fight for us and then we'll get the weapons but they're like we'll only fight for you if the if he, uh, Tyrion fights with us nice. so now he just uh, tywin just told Tyrion, he's like you're gonna be on the front lines by the way just so you know he's like sending him off to die oh much. of course they're uh yeah they, yeah I, I, I totally yeah yeah he's yeah. like yeah the, we can help them put them in the front yeah so yeah, they're gonna put they're gonna put his expendable guys up front, and then the guys he, he considers just made a deal with. Yeah, and then he considers Tyrion the expendable of the of the children. So he's gonna go with them. Yeah, front line. Yeah, well, he has to, otherwise they won't fight. Oh fuck, bossed it. And then if they oh, what's going on in here? Yeah, they're just a girl. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Tucker. <laughs> Yeah, that's how it goes, man. <laughs> He's just so good. He is one of our guys of the week, um, Jerome Flynn. Uh, very, he was a singer back in the day. Um, I can't remember who he sang for. Uh, but he was a or a musician, but most recently he's been in John Wick 3 and he's in the upcoming uh Dark Tower miniseries mm. that's coming out, which is apparently a prequel to whatever movie. Um to find your own fun singer. Ah, he's like, "Woo, yeah. you got you a good one. I'm gonna get myself a double good." Hell, she yeah. doesn't seem like she's too beaten up about it. Yes. Well, her? No, she's a hooker. Oh, yeah, that's what he said. Like, oh, I thought he said that he just took them from someone. Well, they don't bring their wives for war, right? Oh, they bring their their mistresses. Yeah, that makes sense. Yes. I guess. Yeah. Ew, I wouldn't want to be like the traveling whore one. Was she like on the B team? So she gets to go to war and die. Yeah, pretty much. If we all die, fight for our, you know, die for it. Yeah, fuck you. Once you're dead, I'm running. Oh, for sure. Like that. I can't. I can't see what he's uh, saying. What he's saying for him, but he's been in a lot of like British TV shows and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. yeah he's gonna have. He's he's having like the girlfriend experience. It's a GFE. Yeah, baby. That's the kind of thing Soderbergh gets a porn star to start. Is she really? <laughs> that would really that happen. Is she really like in any position to be like? Yeah. Well, she can not. She can <laughs> not expect. <yeah. laughs> oh yeah. Ooh, that's, that's the one. That's the one that got her. Got it. That would be nice. It's coming off. Yep. Yeah. I think that's a no. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to leave all these clothes because I hate you that much. <laughs> there we go. I think that that was definitely a compromise thing. I will take out my boobs. My, my, my vagina is staying covered up if you don't mind. Ooh, yeah. You don't do that, man. You can't. You don't weaken the legs with ejaculate. <laughs> You're not supposed to bang before battle. That's what I'm saying. Supposed to like, didn't they demyth that or whatever they call it, right? They did, but it's like because they said like I wouldn't have a, I don't know, I don't know. Honestly, I probably would not. No, I don't want the because they, exactly. I, I want the rage. I want the. Yeah. I want, yeah. but if you're gonna go after your death, and I'd be like, okay, yeah. If I but think I'm gonna die, then yes, it's after. No, before then, too. If I think yeah. there's no way I'm getting out of here, I'm gonna bang. Yeah. Fuck it. Nah. But that might be the death of you. Yeah, that's exactly. Pussy's it, always the death of us. It's men. Not worth it. Oh my god, he's gone gangrenous. He's turning into swamp thing or some shit. <laughs> oh my god, Fox he's gonna get on. canceled really soon then. So they would have just killed him straight up. He's gonna be very happy with her because they would yeah. have murdered him. Yeah. And I wonder, is he gonna be the honorable type and be like, somebody should have killed me. Kill me now. Yeah. I'm oh, not he, worthy. He well, he would probably flat out admit that he'd have done the exact same. Yeah. It is not looking good. It looks like uh. a Robert it looks like Robert Baratheon's ribs. <laughs> <laughs> does actually go oh, what fuck what if she's a jedi we haven't even considered the fact that this is star wars yep 
Wouldn't that be amazing if all of a sudden, like, a spaceship landed and fucking, like, uh, what's his face? Obi Wan Kenobi gets off. Are they. Are they. So they're saying that if he dies, she's got to get the fuck out of there. Yeah, and he's going to explain why. Yeah. She's like, well, I'm the queen. The queen why would I. Nope. Yeah. Yep. yep. Not a thing. He's like, if anything, they'll just kill you and the baby or yep. fuck you and the baby or eat you and the baby or some combination thereof. You shouldn't have let Buddy fucking yeah. push that blade on you like that. Just be a tough guy. Yeah. Oh, man. Dear Lord. I've fed like six of my babies to dogs, but like <laughs> none of my cute ones. Yeah, exactly. They're awesome. Oh, here she is. There's Buddy's old lady. Yeah. Oh, look at that scar he's got on there too. Eh? Yeah, they're you gonna can... like this one. Oh my god! <laughs> you did this, witch Jesus. I would say get better healers. Ooh. That pen- get their penicillin. Yes. Always kick the old woman. This guy's dead. When Drago comes back to life, this guy's dead. Yeah. Everybody that like every word that that guy says, it doesn't matter what the language is. Like Jorah Mormont there. It always sounds so smooth. Like he just starts speaking Dothraki and it's like, oh, he sounds so good. <laughs> sounds like he's been speaking it his whole life. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, fuck. Yeah. This is yeah her. Her power's coming through. Uh-oh. Or are they? Yeah. Everybody's going to be fucking bound to her when the dragon's got... Hey, he's got, like... Oh, I thought he had fucking uh, Winter Soldier arm. Yeah. So Winter Soldier's shoulder. Yeah. She just think gonna... I need to get armor? Is that what she just said? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's like, if he doesn't make it, you're going to have to protect me. Yeah. <laughs> or I will fucking eat you. Yeah, he's fucked. No way this though Drago goes out. Mm. I have to fuck him. Yeah. That would be the Ooh, best. Ooh, magic. This is the first time I've heard of him. Remember I said something yeah. before? I was like, I don't know if there's magic or anything. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, we're getting some dark magic getting ready. Uh oh, Drago's not gonna be the same after this. He's gonna have something in him, a demon or something. Drago's so not gonna be the same, his name might be Drogo instead. Drogo. Drogo. He's just always like he, he's always phased out as well, man. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Ooh, that'd be the best. They say something in uh, she does like a spell in uh, Dothraki, and she goes, "I'll come McConaughey," <laughs> and just see everybody becomes Matthew McConaughey. Oh, they're gonna yeah. kill his horse. Yeah, she offered her own life there. Yeah. Oh, she knew he was going to do it. She, she got the baby in there. She's like, I'll just say it. It'll make me look good. Nobody's going to fucking ever call me on it. It's like when Take you... me. Perfect. It's like when you <laughs> offer to pay the bill for the guy who invited you to the yeah, thing. He's yeah. like, you know they're not making you do that. No, that... Okay. Okay, yeah. you take it then. All right. Well, oh, yeah. are you sure? Are you sure? Can I get yeah. another horse head chop off here? Yeah. This is a big thing, too, because A, they value their horses so much. Let me and kill B, this witch. She does look like yeah. she's doing some crazy shit right here, though. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. you gotta break the rules, baby. You want to make an omelet? You gotta. You got cut blo- off some horse heads. You got blood on. You got blood on your uh, forehead, and you start speaking in tongues. I don't want anything to do with that. Mm, yeah, it's getting a little jinky now. I think I yeah. just saw Annabelle over in the corner there suddenly. <laughs> oh fuck! He's got a neat little curved uh, sword. Yeah, I love those things. They all have <laughs> like that is their thing. Oh. Oh, fuck it, eh? Hey. Yep. Yeah, I'm leaving. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This is getting some good shit here now. You do not You do not have to ask me twice. I'm out of here. I, once he dies, I want his Captain Lou Albano uh, beard. <laughs> My vagina. Everybody's going to enter your yeah. vagina, lady. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> they bleed lots. She didn't react nearly enough to that. Oh, that poor horse. Yeah. Horse is actually okay, babe. It's brutal. Okay. It's gonna be okay. I just called you babe just to like calm you down. <laughs> I like, I'm, I'm, it I'm, worked. I'm, 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 it I'm worked. very, I'm very used to that. Where somebody's like, "Oh my god," I'm like, "It's okay, babe. You're gonna be fine." Because you're yeah. only used to consoling women. This is what happens. Yeah, I love when they say "ashay." 
In the shadows of a shadow. That sounds like a fucking dragon, yo. She's fucking him hard right now, and he's super. He's gonna be like, "You're my old lady now, babe." Yeah. And then the guy who loves the old bitch is gonna be like, "Come on, man." That was my thing. I, think I called it. Oh my god. Oh, just threw a pregnant lady on her belly. Oh, dude, he said nobody goes into the tent. Watch this shit. Yeah. Uh, oh fuck! Did he cut her? No, he threw her on her stomach. Where the baby lives. This guy reminds me of somebody. That's why I oh, said he god, looks like a go. dude from like an eighties movie. Here we go. Oh, shit. Now you're going to get a disease. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of people into death tent tonight, baby. <laughs> Everybody's dying. Little How cuts are going to move okay. with all that fucking armor, man? Well, that's the thing. But at the same time, he also knows that these guys are really good. And then something like this happens. And uh, see, he's got the armor. Yep. There you go. But, oh, God. Yeah. See, I think that's a big thing about him because he's been around them so long. He knows exactly how they fight. So he's got to, so to have the armor and all that other stuff, he's got kind of a distinct Fuck, advantage. I want a buddy to go in the tent, man. I want to see what was going on. Somebody's got to go in there. You see, she's literally just, she's watching like some like uh, British sitcom. <laughs> she's la so Tracy like, Ullman. She's just yeah. giving her laughing. <laughs> I was going to say like the IT crowd or something like that. Just, Oh, shit. Oh, man. And they must all be like, what in the fuck is going on in there? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, he's bringing her in. Good, 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 yeah. good, good. Just so you spoil it. You don't see what happens. Be, it's going to be the baby. The baby's going to be fucked up. Yeah. yeah it's like, Fuck's like, sakes. You, they probably describe it in a, like in the script, and they're like, yeah, we don't have, we can't afford to shoot that. <laughs> <laughs> I like, no. I like that they're playing like high school games instead of just fucking her nonstop. Oh, uh, yeah. She's uh, getting yeah. slapped. They're going to share her. Yeah. You couldn't find anybody else. That'd be the best. We're going to have sex till our penises touch, and then we're never going to look at each other again. <laughs> and that's why I don't uh, have any more friends. <laughs> He's going to start messing with this woman. He, she, she promised him that she'd only mess with him. Oh, yeah. Is that something? I, I, would, I heard what? about guys, sailors who would go to the Philippines or Thailand, and you would go into a strip club, yeah. Get and you could literally buy a woman. This dude who yep. went out with this one, where he, it ended up being his lady, uh -huh. he had to purchase her. Or you could buy a lady for a week, but I guess my question really is that... Sorry, I just started. No, My question right. is like, does it make a man feel better to tell a prostitute like you'll only be with me this week? I think that's kind yeah. of the kind of thing they were talking about. Does yeah. it feel like does cause you she's a prostitute? Does it really like yeah. would it really hurt your manhood to find out that she was she's a prostitute? I think there is a certain or at least some people have a certain um uh territorialism I about do. them. I do. Yeah. So if you were, so I would then argue that if you were in such a position that you were going to go get said hooker like that, you might actually right. have, it. you might have the same thing in your mind. Right. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get all drunk yeah. before battle. I just want to say, I would just be like, uh, have you been tested recently? You're good now. <laughs> Don't be with anybody else. So I know you're good at that. That's the, the whole. <laughs> sure. How many dicks do you have? None. Okay, cool. Three. Okay, d even Ooh. better. Uh. Drink. Nope. <laughs> this I is a fun game. Drink or dare. Yeah. Uh? Uh oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> They're getting them loaded. This is their plan. It's a very fun game in theory, but, but he makes really... uh. He's getting drunk. Yeah. <laughs> ah, he's like, okay, yeah. you want me to be? Mm -hmm. I think uh, that. Um. Yeah, he's just doing everything like assuming because she's a, a hooker. That right. Everything. Yeah. See, he's wrong. He's giving her all the stereotypical. Yeah. yeah. Are you sure? They're just getting him drunk. He wants to bang her. I hate her so much. It's her accent. I 
Ooh, girl, I like that talk. <laughs> He's like, she probably will. I don't want to fuck her. What are you talking about? She's your hooker. <laughs> Pay her a little extra if that's so bad. <laughs> She's going to get him right on. Yes. Oh. Hell no. Oh. This is true stuff, baby. So this is some more uh, background on Tyrion. Yeah, this um, is good. What's actually really interesting, this is the episode that uh, that Dinklage uh, submitted for the Emmys, and this got him his first Emmy nomination and win. Oh, this for this scene this, right here? This episode. Ah. So he says some dirty shit too earlier on. He's talking about getting fucked and all that, so. Just uh, so it, you better tell us a tale, brah. Yeah, it's a sad tale. This is good. Yeah. This is good backstory he, here. He was 13 in the books because it's always 13 in the books for some reason. Something about George R. R. Martin and 13 year olds freaks me out. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. I pictured and raped her. Yes. <laughs> I was nice about it though. Not like those other chaps. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm smaller, <clears throat> so it wasn't as it wasn't as, as big a <laughs> she deal. She didn't even notice until halfway. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> no, that's terrible. Uh, well, yeah. of course. That must be hard. Like, how how is that for yep. you when people are always asking you about your tall, handsome uh, co-host? Fuck, it sucks. <laughs> oh, by, by tall, handsome co-host, I mean, like, considerably shorter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's you. It's how Joe would be here. I'm like, yeah. what? you're my girlfriend. What the fuck exactly. is happening? The fuck? <laughs> Mom, why do you say such things? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow oh. that's like fucking that's that's a britney spears marriage the what that's a britney spears marriage <laughs> fight uh, breaks out yeah, and then exactly. they're married and by the end of the day they're married yeah, that's how you know you're in love now this is where it gets fucking dork no oh, gets... no yeah oh this is oh, this fuck. is cruel and this is this is definitely the monologue that caught him for the girl was a whore. Oh, the whole thing was, yep. They made him. Oh, man. They made like a hero story. It was like his version of Total Recall. Get your ass to Mars. Yeah. The prostitution name was Mars. Yes. Get your ass. Get in Mars's ass. Oh, my God. So when he was in love with her. Yes. I, wanted, I still want to know what like the exchange rate would be for oh that. lord yeah. what is wrong with these people yeah yeah Ooh, that's a good monologue yeah i know eh? it's really good Ooh. hells yeah <laughs> and you are yeah. right now i don't think truth yep but the um in the book it goes one step further after everybody is like gang banged her and stuff like that he makes him have sex with her oh god why'd they cut that out oh he's I, like should i be leaving now uh, okay i'm gonna go yeah you just told the hottest <laughs> you just there told you the go. hottest story of rape and heartbreak let's fuck no that's what got her totally yeah i get it but he also did pay her. It for just occurred her, to me. Uh, what is the word? I'm like her fealty. Like yeah, her, loyalty. Yeah. I've I've been messing just so people who know have been watching this. I have been like messing around oh, with this cable. Oh man, this show breaks okay. my heart. I know, but I've been messing around with this cable. But my hands have been down there, so it looks like I've been like rooting around. <laughs> oh whatever. You're talking I've, about George R. R. Martin and 13 year olds. You're playing with yourself. <laughs> Just like everybody that watches Game of Thrones, Hands like what's di- like you can't even like we're all watching the show here, so it's yeah. like what you know we're all evil now. Yeah, exactly. Uh oh. Uh oh, they're coming, baby. Oh, they left him. <laughs> <laughs> I do now. Take her. <laughs> she, everything uh, she says just bums me out. I know. 
Like that's like like I I feel You'll like you be I, dead. How will you know? There's one girl who I started dating who I kind of put an end to like <clears throat> right away, and I feel like that's had it gone like Jesus. for a long time. That's how it would have like been the whole time. It was just like, tell me you love me. Why would I even bother? <laughs> Ugh. I'm just like. Yeah, don't don't worry about that. I love little uh, armor. <laughs> yeah, because he's a leprechaun. Yeah. Oh. oh, this is a good scene, too. Yes. Ah, uh, here you go. Burned men. I like the burned men. <laughs> Remi- oh, there was like a whole group called the Painted Dogs, yeah. I guess, right? It reminds me of the um, the uh, the Bilbo Baggins birthday speech. Oh, I was like, I'm proud foots. They're not going to let him die, you watch. <laughs> they love him. They, oh, yeah. Hells yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's going to die before the battle even starts getting yeah. trampled. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. I was right. Holy <laughs> fuck. Yeah, that's it. He's done. Everything, he got his, everything went white. Emmy for his death scene. Oh, fuck. Look at that shit. Yeah, it's the end of every brave. It's the end of every other scene in Braveheart. Yeah, pretty much. Eh? <laughs> Everybody did. For, William, for freedom. For William Wallace. But like, this feels like a, like a Spike Lee shot to me. Yeah, this is a different, Look at that d- different one, eh? Like, it's not just blood being wiped off. It's just, like, goo being wiped off of his sword. He missed the whole thing. Yeah. This is basically, exa- if you have not seen or You're read The Hobbit. shit warrior. Yeah, this is exactly what happens to Bilbo Baggins in The Hobbit. Right when the battle's about to start, he gets knocked out, and he wakes up, and then Gandalf's sitting over. next to him, and he's like, oh, yeah, you missed it. It's so another reason like, why good. The, the Hobbit book is so frustrating. <laughs> like, compared, the storytelling in the movie is better than in the book because they actually explore things that are interesting that they gloss over in the book. They They're like, won. oh, yeah, by the way, this giant battle, yeah, we don't, we don't have time for that nonsense. You, he, he sleeps through it. <laughs> good. It's <laughs> nice to see them something. getting along. <laughs> They're just like tearing it apart. Uh, so Charles Dance, I like his helmet. Like you, like you see, like the little things, like the ba- the gold lines on his shoulders and stuff. He's got like badass. There's only two thousand of them. Yeah. Well, they're looking for the one in the wheelchair. Yeah. No, oh, no, they're, they're looking for uh, Rob. the older one. Yeah, yeah. So, but that's the thing. You know, there's eighteen thousand guys, but there were only two thousand. So, where does everybody else? Where the fuck are they? So that was Charles Dance, though, and we. I said he had a crazy. That's uh, a good point, sir. That's a good point, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Charles Dance had a pretty crazy um, uh, resume. He was in For Your Eyes Only, uh, one of the Bond movies. He's in The Golden Child, Alien oh. Three. Last Action Hero, China Moon, Ali G into House. He's in a couple of Underworld movies, starting with Underworld Awakening. Yes, he is. Uh, Dracula Untold, Victor Frankenstein. He was in the girl, the girl Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters answer the call. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Like, he, and he's got like six other oh, things shit. going on. Yeah, they're coming. Back. Oh, this is her. Okay, no, this is this good. is good. Yeah. So he's got a white there horse. There he he's is. Good so something's happened. That's actually the happiest I think you see her in this entire like series. Oh, you made it. Mm-hmm. But for what? Oh, Jamie. fuck yeah, you piece of shit. <laughs> so they fucking right on. So they got word that they were crossing the bridge going the other way, but they actually sent everybody the other way, the long way to go get him. Nice. Yeah. Ugh. Agreed. Uh, yeah. He's no, don't listen to I literally every time I hear him talk, I'm like, don't listen to whatever he's saying. <laughs> he's like, it's it's always the most like it, it's always the frat boy answer to what like we could listen to him now, right now yeah. that he's captured. We can end this war. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I want it to be nails. <laughs> Stark versus Lannister. That's right. Yeah. I know you have no honor. You're a piece of shit. Yeah. Well, no, he knows he's a better fighter. Yeah. So he well, also knows he's just, he has no honor. Yeah. So of yeah. course he'd stack the deck and win yeah. like he fucking always does. Yeah. 
Well, that's the thing, though. When you're fighting one-on-one, how do you stack the deck? Like, uh, other than, like, fighting a little dirty. But no, just what fighting. Ned said. He he, yeah. d- he he never he doesn't fight fair. He doesn't. No, no, but what Ned said was he chose his opponents. This time he was picking him. Right. So it would be one-on-one. But he also knows that he's fighting a young guy with has no battle experience. Right. So... Oh, so that's sorry, sorry, sorry. Like, he meant like with the two of us fight right now, yes. we'll end this war. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I that's thought he, he just meant let's make a deal and whatever. No, no, no. That's why he's saying you'd win. He's like, I know you'd beat me in a fight. So yeah. why would I do that? Well, fuck, what am I going to do that? Yeah. Yeah. But he just sent 2,000 men to their death as a diversion. Yeah. He does address it. He said right there, he yeah. just said, he said, I sent 2,000 yeah. men to their death. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's a thing too. And it's something that. So I don't think others, they address it enough, right? In I, like other movies and stuff, they they didn't. Uh, yeah, because remember the other side was like, oh, there's only two thousand of them. They only yep. sent two thousand. We stomped them easy, but that's because they went around the back and took Buddy. Yeah, yeah, they were. I don't. Know, she got herself a dead pigeon. She's a, she's still hiding. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Yeah. <laughs> pretty bird. Yeah. I don't have any coppers. Do not tell them what your name is. That is a good Yeah, thought. do fucking not. Ugh. Come on, grab it. Ones. Grab it. Just... He's gone. Grab it. <laughs> they know what I'm watching. I like I, I like that version of bartering, though. I'll give you a dead pigeon. Why do you have a dead pigeon? What the fuck? Joe. I know it's like kind of peasant style. Is but... it a crime to steal yeah. bread to feed your dead bird? I'd like to see it happen. <laughs> <laughs> see what's going on. All right, so we got something going on in the square. Something's, Something's so brewing important. up here. Something so important. She it's dropped gonna be her, her father her pigeon. It's gonna be her father. Yeah, pulled out into the sun. We're getting yeah. close to where yeah. it would be the end. I'm feeling it. We're gonna give him a sunburn. <laughs> <laughs> it's it they becomes the sun. they hate the sun. It becomes the most brutal thing. He's like shirtless, and you see he gets like really red, like that kind. And then every now and again, somebody comes up and slaps the burn. <laughs> and they're like, oh, no. that's, that's the torture. Come on, move the fucking statue. There it is. The fuck out of it. Yep, I knew it. There he is. Motherfuckers. That could be anybody. That could be any long hair. I know that, guy that walk. Yeah, that's his pimp walk. It does. Pimp leg on strong. Oh, that she's using his daughter. Is that chain mail in any way helpful that's all around their face? It's mithril. Oh, okay. That's good then. Good good on him to pick her out of that crowd, eh? I know she's well, sitting she's up, up in his, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess, I guess she'd stick Come on, out. split the arrow, like split the rope like Robin Hood. Yeah, baby. Traitor. He's one of the Night's Watch. So that was the name of this episode. So that's the statue of Baylor. Baylor was like the set, like the first. Yeah, well, he was just uh, saying like, yo, my yeah. daughter's over there. Yeah, he was like the first like maester. He was the sept, like the religious leader of King's Landing who built like that big, uh, like where they get married and all that kind of stuff. That's where he, like he built all that stuff. So you'll hear Baylor a lot. You'll hear the Sept of Baylor, which is the big church. He knew Buddy there. Yeah. Boo. Speech. <laughs> <laughs> I like that little stairway thing. It looks like risers for a like a choir. Say it. Say it. Say it. Mate. <laughs> He just goes, ha, ah, hooked on a feeling. Uh, and she and fucked see, her brother. It is. <clears throat> and you could you could see he's like even looking down because it's crushing him to even say the lie yeah. just to protect his yeah. kids. I feel like he'll like hate his kids that much more. Well, like he's like, I resent you guys so bad for making me tell a lie. He's such a good actor in this oh. man. Oh, he's like shaking with him. Yeah. What a fucking oh, consummate professional. Good job, the hound, for getting him up there. <laughs> Stand up. Uh, they're going to kill you now for saying this. They said that they would spare you, but they are so yeah. not. This sucks. Uh-uh. Yeah. Oh, oh there you go. my Lord. See, this is when I would just, if you're going to tell a lie, tell a much bigger lie. Say one of the people who you kill, who's already dead now gave me false information right it was like i was under the they don't impression. want to hear any no. excuses they just want to hear what yeah. they want to hear yeah what's what's actually the, there's an interesting little dichotomy too that comes up in the at the other side of this scene that we'll get into after it happens oh there we go so basically 
the the deal that he believe he oh. believed yeah the the deal that he believes to have made is that he's going to take the black like Jon Snow did and he's going to go up to the wall and don't you do it you little yeah. shit uh, <clears throat> there we go so that is legitimately what his mother has asked of him yeah yes yeah. Oh my god, and she's gonna be your old lady. Yeah. You know. How I will give him none. Oh my <laughs> god, I knew it. You little fucking shit. Yeah. Oh, you motherfucker. Look at her Queen Mom Medallia hairstyle going on there. Yeah. You piece yeah. of but, look at they're all like, you yeah, fucker. Like even Cersei is like, that is not what we discussed. Yeah, she's not happy either. This is He's where a you little shit. Well, this is where you start to find out because Cersei genuinely believed that Joffrey would be in his her control. And that's the first time you find out. Nope. He's gonna be doing his own thing. Put it, and look at it, he's so into buddies like, yeah. in there. It's like do, doing oh, a touchdown. Oh fuck, buddies was ready with yeah. the hood. Yeah. So that that's that night one the night's watch guy is gonna take her away. Look Whoa. at the size of that sword, eh? <clears throat> oh. Yeah. Oh. That's so terrifying. So he actually, in a moment here, I think he, like, you see him kind of whisper something. Oh, my God. Do you see his wife just, like, uh, in Braveheart? Yes. He just sees a bunch of, like, he, he just sees a bunch of random people. But he's going to grab his kid. That's what he meant. He's like, look yeah. at the statue. He's like, my yeah. daughter's a take her, take her, yeah. get her out of here. Exactly. He sees Aragorn. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Cover her face, man. Oh, my. Show. And that's oh, that. Wow. That went through, like, fucking hot butter, man. Yeah. That, well, that thing probably weighed, like, 30 pounds, right? Oh. Oh. And that is the oh, end. What a fucking way to end her. And off. that's not even the season finale. Oh, look at that. I know, like, right? Oh, it's so good. Damn. That is it. How is that not the fucking season finale? What, like, what an ending. I. Whoa. The entire time. Little fucking piece of yeah. shit. No word of a lie, though. Like, I had this thing, and it, I know better for HBO shows. And I'm sitting there, and the entire time, I'm like, man, how's he going to get out of this one? Like, I was, I think they were on season, the beginning of, like, season three was just about to start when I started watching the show. And I was like, man, how is he going to get out of this one? And then it was like, and he's going down, and I'm like, oh. And I just remember, like, just having that kind of reaction, and then just kind of sitting in silence for a while. I was like, now what? It's fucking so, dead. It's always got to be him dying, eh? Yeah. Fuck, how many I, times do you have to cry over Sean Bean's death? There's, I very rarely cry over his death. Crying. I think the closest was his speech in Lord of the Rings. Oh. But yeah, in the thing when he's like down on his knees, apparently he like there's a point when he whispers to himself and he's just he just like made a little prayer for himself. Like right. he didn't, they didn't give him lines. He just figured that would be the kind of thing he would do at that right. juncture. Wow. All right. Well, what that a is a fucking episode. I'm glad we yeah. stayed for the one more. All right. All right. That is oh. it, guys. Next week. Season finale of season one. We're going to go right into season two after that. Like, it's forever till it's done. God, this may take so long that the prequels will be up and running and we'll like oh my those Lord. Too. So we'll figure it out. Um, I'm making Todd do this, the Star Wars prequels. He's like, we can just do prequels all goddamn year. Yay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> all right, guys, as always, email us podcast at miscastcommentary.com. Uh, call or text us one two eight nine. 769-3288. Find us on Twitter at Miscast Podcast. I'm at JK Finley. Todd's at Miscast Todd. Uh, Instagram at Miscast Commentary. I'm at JK Finley. Todd's not there yet. We're going to get him there. Uh, maybe not. I don't think it matters that big, does it? Yes. I'll get there. Oh, man, my sinuses are squeezing shit here, man. Uh, all right. Uh. We're going to get some boogers out of Todd. We'll see you guys next week for the dramatic conclusion of season one of Ooh, Game of Thrones. I can't wait. See you next week. This has been Binge Watchers on the Wall, a Game of Thrones podcast presented by Miss Cast Commentary. Visit www.miscastcommentary.com for more information about the podcast and its hosts. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our podcasts wherever you may listen. Thank you for your patronage and good night. But beware, 
for the night is dark and full of terrors. <laughs>